environment our earth is the home of human kind all kinds of plants and animals also live on the earth we cannot live in isolation from other forms of life as we depend upon them for our food and other necessities of life thus we live in a particular surrounding study at a glance environment biotic environment abiotic environment interaction between biotic and abiotic elements spheres of the environment food chain ecosystem ecological balance environment and human being environment surrounding or condition in which a person animal or plant lives or operates is known as environment the earth is our home and thus the lithosphere atmosphere hydrosphere along with all living organisms together make our environment the major components of environment are human environment human made environment natural environment human environment the environment in which human beings live is known as human environment example family individual education religion etc human made environment human made environment is created by human beings for their own use or for the use of domesticated animals and plants it is also referred as built up environment for example buildings roads parks mountains industries bridges etc natural environment the combination of physical environment like mountains rocks oceans etc and biological environment such as that of trees animals and anything made by nature is termed as natural environment land air water plants and animals comprise the natural environment the major spheres of environment like lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere could be grouped into two categories that is biotic environment and abiotic environment biotic environment the environment which includes living beings such as plants animals and human beings is known as biotic environment or biological environment biological environment is largely dependent on physical environment like water and air abiotic environment abiotic environment comprises of land water and air this is also known as physical environment a change in the physical environment brings a change in biotic environment interaction between biotic and abiotic elements the physical and biological elements of environment are dynamic in nature the sun is the major source of energy all changes in the abiotic environment are powered by solar energy the circulation of air and water brings about changes in climate conditions in different seasons these climate changes further affect biotic elements all plants and animals depend on abiotic environment for their food all the plants obtain their food directly from land water air and the sun all animals whether herbivores or carnivores get their food from the plants and animals human beings also bring changes in the physical environment by the activity of mining agriculture road construction etc the interaction between the elements of physical and biological environment are responsible for all variations in the soil vegetation 
and distribution of plants and animals. Spheres of the environment. There are four major spheres of the environment. They are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, biosphere. Lithosphere. The solid crust of the earth is called lithosphere. The average thickness is about 100 kilometers. Importance of lithosphere. It provides mankind land to settle. It provides soil for plants and for cultivation. It is rich in resources of mineral wealth. Various landforms are of various uses, depending upon the economic factor of human needs. Hydrosphere. It is the water sphere consisting of all water bodies, oceans, seas, lakes, etc. on the Earth's surface. About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Importance of Hydrosphere Water bodies help in marine activities. They provide us enough food. Without water, human beings, plants and animals cannot survive. Water cools the atmosphere and also the main source of rain on Earth. In the seabed, Deposits of mineral oil and gas are found. That is very important for human beings. Atmosphere. It is the layer of air which surrounds the earth. Importance of atmosphere. If there is no atmosphere, the extreme temperature between day and night would have been much greater. It also controls the extreme of the seasons. The atmosphere provides a setting in which all forms of life are created and sustained. Its layer, called ozone, keeps the sun's harmful radiation away from the earth and also allows only a part of the sun's heat to reach the earth, thus preventing it from getting too hot. Biosphere, the narrow zone of the contact between atmosphere, lithosphere and hydrosphere is known as biosphere. This is the zone where plants, animals and microorganisms are found. The plants and animals living on land are found in the zone of contact between the lithosphere and hydrosphere. The zone of contact between land and sea is full of organisms living above and in the shallow sea water near the sphere. The type of plants and animals found in a particular region are related to the prevailing physical environment known as habitat. All organisms living in a particular habitat depend on one another. Thus, all organisms in the biosphere not only interact with the physical environment but also with one another. A study of the interrelationship of the organism among themselves with the physical environment is called ecology. All the components of biosphere derive energy from the sun. The sun is the primary source of energy. The energy is also transferred from one source to another. Wood, coal, petroleum, running water, etc. are the secondary sources of energy. In the biosphere, there are two major components, that is, the producers and consumers. All the organisms which are capable of producing their food directly from the abiotic environment are called producers or autotrophs. The organisms unable to produce their food directly from the solar energy are called consumers or heterotrophs. Such organisms depend upon other plants and animals for their food. Almost all the animals are heterotrophs. The consumers or heterotrophs are of two categories, that is herbivores, carnivores. The herbivores are the plant eater like cow, goat, ox, etc. while the carnivores are the flesh eaters like tiger, lion, etc. Still, there may be a third category of omnivores, which are both plant as well as meat eaters. 
Another category of decomposers or detritus feeders are those animals who feed on the dead bodies of animals and plants. Food chain. All forms of life thrive through the grace of the sun's rays. Grass grows due to solar energy. Grass is eaten by a goat to get energy and the energy is further passed to human beings through goat's milk or meat. Thus, we find that there is transfer of energy from one organism to another organism in the form of food. This transfer of energy from one organism to another organism is called food chain. Many food chains thus intermingle with one another showing complex relationship of organisms at different levels and form a food web. Ecosystem The physical environment comprising of all living organisms within it is called ecosystem. An ecosystem may be the whole earth consisting of its physical and biological system or it may be small like a lake or a pond system. It is thus such a unit in which all biotic organisms interact with abiotic environment. Ecological Balance Ecological balance is the condition under which there is a perfect equilibrium in the energy production and consumption in the given ecosystem. Under natural conditions, there is a state of perfect balance in the ecosystem and this balance is maintained by the fixed number of herbivores and the fixed number of carnivores. The herbivores feed on the grass and the carnivores feed on the herbivores. On particular grassland, a certain number of herbivores can sustain and in turn a certain number of carnivores can sustain on those herbivores. Thus, in the state of ecological balance, the living organisms remain almost stable. Environment and Human Beings Human beings are an important species among the living creatures. They are capable of influencing and changing their environment through their activities. Human activities like agriculture, mining, industry, transport, etc. have affected the environment in a number of ways. The area under forest has decreased due to cutting down of trees and a number of animal species are becoming extinct due to environmental pollution. Human activities are aimed at satisfying increasing needs from the environment. Summary The surroundings of humankind is called environment. It consists of two categories, biotic and abiotic environment. There are four major spheres of environment, lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. The outer layer of the earth's crust consisting of rock material is lithosphere. The water sphere consisting of all the water bodies, oceans, sea, lakes, etc. on the earth's surface is hydrosphere. The layer of air which surrounds the earth is atmosphere. The zone where living is possible is called biosphere. The two major groups found in biosphere are autotrophs and heterotrophs. The transfer of energy from one organism to another organism is called food chain. Ecological balance is the condition under which there is a perfect equilibrium in the energy production and consumption in the given ecosystem.